Well, let me begin by thanking you for coming punctually. I will first say that there is absolutely nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I see that you're looking a little pale. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is that you remain calm. I know that everything here may appear a little strange. But rest assured, this process will be your savior. Somewhere, someplace, at some point of your life, something led you astray, off the tracks, as it were. Life seemed more difficult to manage from day to day. Whenever you looked at people around you, they all seemed to belong. Everyone belonged except you. You started to feel lost out of place, excluded, as if there was something wrong with you, as if you lived in a place you were unable to fit in, to adapt to. And the feeling of rejection became so overwhelming that you ended up isolating yourself. You began to think that loneliness was the only thing on your side. But that is not true anymore. Now you have us on your side. Think of us as the gentle hand on your shoulder, guiding you back onto a more fulfilling path, helping you to be in control again. And what do we expect from you? Not really all that much. You just need to remember to do as we say and let the process do its work. All right. Yes, sir. I just need your point. Pass it! No! 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 I'm not in this! You've got the right person! No! 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 I'm fine! I don't need this! You've got the right person! No! The first stage of the healing process is to acknowledge the problem, as they say. No! Please! These people aren't just a danger to themselves. They are a public danger to innocent people like you and me. No! No! And thus, you understand why we can take any chances.
gentlemen, I'm sure that we can get it right this time, okay? All I need you to do is focus, okay? Lancaster, sing to me, Cheswick. Okay, no, wait. Focus. Wait. Throw a card, Cheswick. A club, Cheswick. Throw a club, Cheswick. Throw a club. A club, Cheswick. A club. This is not a club. Don't you know what a club is? Oh, come on, Cheswick. We've been over this. Throw a club. Throw a goddamn club, Cheswick. Let me see your hand. Don't you no. have any clubs? Let no. me see your hand. No. Cheswick. No. Cheswick. No. Cheswick, we've been over this. No. Let me. Cheswick, we want to start playing. No. <laughs> come, come, come on. Cheswick. I want to play. Listen no. to Bill. No. Cheswick. Cheswick. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this, this place is a madhouse. All right, all right, fellow psychopaths. I, Dale Hardy, a self-proclaimed resident of the Psychiatric Council, hereby declare 10 seconds of blessed therapeutic silence. What should we? What Here's old Chief Broom, how are you doing, Big Indian? Ha! Look at Featherhead. Big enough to eat apples off my head? And he's <laughs> clear like a baby! <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, give me your broom. Oh, so, you want your broom? Come on, take it, baby. Baby wants to start broom. sweeping, baby. Start sweeping, come on. Take Mr. Washington? Yes, ma'am. Gentlemen, we have quite a number of appointments to attend this morning. So perhaps if you're standing there talking in a group, it's too urgent. And since it's Monday, boys, why don't we get a good head start on the week by shaving poor Mr. Brandon first? and see if we can avoid some of the disturbance he tends to cause. Don't you think? Yes, ma'am. Right away. Yeah. Look, look. Mr. Lancaster. Oh yeah, that, that's mine. Could you give the pill to Mr. Chester? No. He needs it. <laughs> no, your papa doesn't need the medication. The medication is for you, Mr. Lancaster. Uh, okay, give it to me and I'll take it at my desk. No, you need to take it here. The medication is for you. Okay, I'll take it here just because you're too annoying. Do it and open your mouth so I can see the pill is gone, alright? <laughs> Mr. 
Granger. <coughs> Miss Granger, your medication. No, no. Miss Granger, there is absolutely nothing to be afraid of. This treatment is exactly what you need to get better. Your full cooperation is necessary if you want to recover, Miss Granger. Please go ahead. Will it make the voices go away? Of course it will, Miss Granger. Take it. <coughs> Very good, Miss Granger. T-shirt, socks, pants, some snacks, good morning, good morning, so right here, here are his admission papers, I will need a Okay, I'm here. And here. Please. Quiet. Right? Good back. Warm. Good day, Mr. McMurphy. Good day, young man. How are I am Miss Bilbo, and she is Miss North Bilbo. Flynn. North Flynn, what a pleasure. Hi. <laughs> All right. Well, it, you know, it looks like you've been taking my stuff without my permission. Can I have it back, please, North Flynn? After we have inventoried all your possessions, we'll allow you to have some of them in your room and stop the rest from safekeeping on the release. Well, uh, you know, North uh, Pilbo, What's bothering me is that uh, maybe there are a few things a girl shouldn't see. Do you know what I mean? That's okay. That's a standard protocol for new arrival, all right, Mr. Right, right, all right. Let's do it. The content of what you have doesn't matter to us. Continue, Miss Lynn. Okay. For the spray. And this. Yes, uh, <laughs> for the good luck, Nurse Pilbo. Good luck. Okay. Of the brush. Uh, what is this? Uh, that's uh, <laughs> Nurse Pilbo, it's just... Uh, is this a pornographic magazine, Mr. McMurphy? Yes, it is, Nurse Pilbo, yes, it is. I mean, it's nights in jail are so lonely. It's like my Bible. Read the Bible, Nurse Pilbo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my Bible, come on. Continue, that's it. Now, your pockets. Would you empty them for here? Yes. All right. A uh, pack of cigars, half chocolate bar, a deck of cards. I'm gonna need it later. My harmonica. Ah. And, uh, oh, yes, uh, shoot gum. <laughs> You can have the toilet gum back. Are you sure McMurphy. you don't need it, North Pilbo? No, thanks. All right. I'm taking it. <laughs> Let's take it to Miss Rutter and get the doctor come see him. See you, Mr. McMurphy. See you, honey. Come to me. Here? Mr. McMurphy. I'm Dr. Spivey. Dr. Spivey, what a pleasure. <coughs> Let's sit down and talk. Yes, but, uh, Doc, is that, is that a hot metal harmonica? Can I see? Jesus Christ, Doc, it's, it's a wonderful one. Beautiful yeah. sound, you know. You play it, Doc? Yeah, of course. Well, I play it too. It's, congratulations, Doc. Thank Great. You, I admire you now, you know? Okay, <clears throat> back to me. All right. 
Randall Patrick Murphy, 35 years old, never married. What can you tell me about what have you been sent here? Well, Jock, uh, I don't know. What does it say there? Well, it says several things about you. It says that you have been belligerent, aggressive. Aggressive, Doc? Come on. Talking when unauthorized. Look at these arms. I can't be aggressive. Especially when unauthorized. Present food to any for work. That you are lazy. What? Chewing gum in class? One, two, three, five. Arrest for assault. Seems like you are fighting all the time. Mohammed Ali, Doc. Mohammed Ali has 40 fights and he's a millionaire. Okay, that's true. <laughs> but listen, the real reason that you have been sent here is because they want you to be evaluated and determine if you are really mental ill or not. That is the real reason. What do you think they may have that suspicious? Well, as near as I can figure out, Doc, it's, be it's because uh, I, you know, fight and laugh and fuck too much. When you were in prison? <laughs> no, in prison now, Doc. I mean, I'm, I'm I mean, what no. you have been saying here, precisely. Well, I really don't know, Doc, but uh, between you and me, you know, they're telling me I'm crazy because I don't sit down like a damn vegetable, you know? All right, if that's what being crazy is, well, I'm senseless. Out of the road, down, feet, wacko. But no more, no less, Doc. That's it. Be honest, man, Murphy. Is anything wrong with your mind? Really? Not a thing, Doc. I'm a goddamn marvel of modern science, you know? <coughs> okay. We are going to be here. You are going to be here for a period of time, so we're going to evaluate you and determine what is going to be your necessary treatment. All right. All right. All right. I just want you to know I'm here to cooperate 100 percent. I really think we need to get into the bottom of this. All right, Doc. All right. Um, okay, then, pleasure. gentlemen, can you take Mr. Murphy with uh, Miss right Rachel to the dining room, please? This way, please. All right. Shower. My my what? Permission shower. Uh, no thanks, man. Well, you have to. Those are the rules. Well, I don't follow that rule, you know, because I already take a shower this morning at the courthouse and last night at jail. Look at this. I think I'm pretty damn clean. All right. It doesn't no. work that way. Jesus Christ, man! You know what? Maybe you should wash your ears so you can understand. I won't take that shower, man. All right. Now give me a minute, they wanna, you know, take a look, my new home over. This guy, for example, what are you doing there? Wanna dance or what? Wanna dance with you? Very good. Mark. Come on, let me dance with my, you know, new friend. How are you? Very good. Oh, look at that. Very good. Well, yeah. I like it. Come on. Come on. What, what, what the hell are you doing? Look at this, huh? What's your name? What's up? Uh, shy guy, huh? <laughs> Observation type, like that one. <coughs> What's wrong with you, man? I mean, looks like you've been working on Buckingham's Palace or something. All right, I can do it too. Look. <laughs> it's a, the, 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 Dumb in he can, How is that so? He can, he can hear you. Deaf and dumb, eh? So he can hear me. How? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think you're right, but, uh, well, at least he can shake hands, eh? can you? Come on. Come on, yes. R.P. McMorphy. Nice to meet you. And what's your name, son? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm B B Billy Bibbit. Billy Bibbit. Well, Mac Murphy is mine. What a pleasure. What's going on? Well, look 
Okay. You're the last one. How are you? What are you doing? Huh? It's none of your business. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it was bothering you, but uh, you know what? Maybe we should start again. Uh, Marty McMurphy, nice to meet you. Yes, I know who you are. Oh, yes? Why? Do, do we know each other? I read your profile in the asylum system. I knew you were being found for today. So you, you hacked the hospital's computer? Well, great. It's Maybe. not that hard, actually. They haven't changed the password since September 2nd, 2011, at 9.37 a.m. Well, I know your name now. Computer Freak. Your name. <laughs> Very good. Stop pretending <coughs> like you don't know who I am. I know why you're here. Calm down, man. You were going to prison, but instead you made an agreement with the government to spy on me. Spy on you? I'm not a spy on you. I mean, according to my lawyer, I'm just a soul sweeper. It's okay. You can be relaxed. Whatever. You're not getting any information on my liberty software. Your liberty what? My software for anti-hacking, anti-tracing, anti, anti, anti Alright, alright, anti-everything. I got it. Jesus Christ, I mean, why will anyone care about it anyway? Huh? Because it can give you the only thing you want that you may never have. Oh yeah? Freedom. Freedom? You must be kidding me. I'm free, honey. I escaped from jail. I'm free. Come on. I'm, 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 I'm free, honey. Understand? <laughs> Look at this. I can do this. I'm not in jail. I mean, I'm, I'm free. Oh, Jesus Christ. What are you saying? I'm free. Understand? I'm free. That's not what I'm talking about. It's more like freedom to choose what your destiny will be, what makes you happy. But we don't choose that, do we? No, everything's an imposition. Society creates stupid individuals so we cannot think outside the box. Social media, they shape our thinking, they manipulate us so they can control us. Actually, freedom doesn't exist. Well, I'm beginning to understand why you're crazy, all right? <laughs> but it's okay. I don't understand what you're saying. You're saying we think we're free, but we're not? Is that what you're saying? That is the craziest part, because they tell us that we're free, and we believe them. But the truth is that there is like a tribe in Africa that doesn't have the word freedom. So. I'm going to set all these guys free, all right? And you're, you too, you'll be free too. Believe me. Mr. McCarthy, would you come here, please? Please. Hi. Pleased to meet you, Mr. McMurphy. I am Nurse Ratchet, the head nurse of this world. Nurse Ratchet, well, what a pleasure. Since you are here on a court order, Mr. McMurphy, you will be under the jurisdiction and control of my staff. I think you know them all by now. I know them all, Nurse Ratchet, yes. Okay, Mr. McMurphy, I am sorry that I interrupted you and Ms. Granger, but you do understand that we have rules here that everyone must follow. Yes, I mean, Lord Ratchet, I'm gentle as a puppy dog. Aid Williams tells me that you rejected to take your admission shower, Mr. McGregor. Uh, oh, that shower, I mean, it's like, um, it's not important. Please understand, Mr. McMurphy, I do appreciate that you have taken it upon yourself to orient with the other patients here, <coughs> but everything in its own good time, okay? Now you will join us in therapy session, but immediately after that, you will take your admission shower. Is that clear to you? All right, ma'am. It's clear. Great, right, Mr. McMurphy. Is there anything you would like to say? Just one thing. I'm glad to be here. I appreciate your words. Thank you for everything. I, I mean, I'm glad to be here. Is that? Great, right, Mr. McMurphy. Everything. Thank Made you. yourself at home. Okay? Thank you, Nurse Ratchet. Everyone, therapy session. What's, what's that? <laughs> it's a good meeting. We do it every day. Grab a chair. Or help me with this. All right. Mr. Harding's problem concerning his young wife. Mr. Harding stated that his wife made him uneasy because she drew stares from other men on the street. Is that correct, Mr. Harding? 
Oh yes, yes, that's perfectly correct. He also thinks that he may have given his wife reasons to seek sexual attention elsewhere, but he didn't say how. Mr. Harding has been heard to say to his wife, I hate you, I don't ever want to see you again, you have betrayed me. So, does anyone have an opinion on this matter? Anyone who would like to say something? Billy, perhaps? Would you like to start today, Billy? No. <coughs> Mr. Cheswick, are you with us? Would you like to start? <laughs> Mr. Lancaster, what about you? <laughs> All right. So, Mr. Hardy, have you ever speculated that perhaps you are impatient with your wife because she doesn't meet your intellectual requirements? Well, perhaps, but you see, the only thing I can really speculate on Nurse Ratchet is the very existence of my life, with or without my wife, in terms of the human relationships, the juxtaposition of one person to another, the form, the content. Harding, where are you going? Why do you knock the bullshit? Get to the point! This is the point. This is the point, Lancaster. It's no bullshit. I'm not just talking about my wife. I'm talking about my life. I can't seem to get that through to you. I'm not just talking about one person. I'm talking about everybody. I'm talking about form. I'm talking about content. I'm talking about interrelationships. I'm talking about God, the devil, hell, heaven. Do you understand? Finally! Harding, you're so dumb. <laughs> can't believe it. You see, it makes me feel very peculiar, very <laughs> peculiar indeed. The way you always refer to me that way. Peculiar? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the meaning of peculiar? So you, you've never heard the word peculiar? <laughs> peculiar. You know that books you've written, you've never come across with the word peculiar? <laughs> you know what? You just don't want to listen and you don't want to learn from anybody. Wait a moment, Chisby. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to He's say I'm gay? Are you trying to say, wait a moment. But I'm here. Are I'm you here trying to, to say I'm gay? You. But I'm is here that to it? You. Little, little Mary Jane? Little, I met a Consuelo. Is that it? <laughs> is that your idea of communicating something to me? Well, you know what? They are trying to gang up on you. They sometimes try to gang up on me, but don't worry. I'm here Chesu, for you. Chesu, do me a favor. Calm down and stay off my sight. But I'm okay? here to help you. you I know? understand. Listen, but I'm just trying to be please, supportive. Listen, the other day, you were making some... Well, please, Cheswick, please! I just wanted to... Please! The other day, you were making some allusions. <laughs> allusions, allusions, not illusions, allusions to sexual problems I might be having with my wife. All right, let's say it's true. Let's say I know it to be true, but you don't. And if that's your idea of communicating something to me, have a long way to go, my friend. Hardy, when are you going to wise up and turn her loose? Wise up, Hardy. Live up. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't know how a woman could, could, could love a, a man who, who talks like that. Oh, so now it's my fault. <laughs> my wife. You've been talking about your wife ever since I can remember. For and she saw your mind. For the hundredth oh. time, Lancaster, I'm not talking about my wife, but I'm gonna get that through your fucking head. My wife. We're busy right now, okay? I'm not talking about my wife. I am talking about everybody. But my wife! My wife! My wife! She was my wife! Cindy was my wife! It's no, okay. no! It's okay! No, Cindy is! She is my wife! She is my wife! Yeah, she was your girl. You're a good boy. No, she is my wife! You need to calm down. Why did she kill herself? Are we gonna get you calm? My wife! My wife! No, no! You're gonna get calm, so please. Cindy is my wife! Cindy is my wife! Yes, please. Oh, Dad, you're such a good boy. Okay. All right, all right, Alice, please. All right, gentlemen, oh, I suggest we close the meeting for today, okay? Thank you all.
All right, I'm telling you, fellas, you're gonna love this game. Yeah? I'm gonna introduce you, Lancaster, with an old friend of mine. I won. Yeah. His name is Black Jack. But you cheated, you know? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know the case. rules. You know the rules. Simple game. One facing up, one facing down. You have to get closer to 21 with two or more cards. All right? Just come on. We're here. All right? All right, I'm deal. Oh. Of course, first of all, gentlemen, place your bets. That's what I want to see right now. Place your bets, gentlemen. What is this? Uh, that's a nickel, Cheswick. I bet a dime. Uh, no, no, Cheswick, come in and a nickel is the limit. So, uh, so I bet a nickel. Uh, no, Cheswick, for Christ's sake, this is not a nickel. This is a nickel. If you make this, you don't get a nickel. You get shit. Try and smoke it, Chesley. Understand? <laughs> Gentlemen, please. I want to start this game right now. I'm dealing, so I start. It's okay for you, Harney? Go ahead. Very good. I have a, a nine up. I think I sit. What about you? Would you like to sit or you prefer me to hit you? Hit me! Cheswick, uh, it's not your turn, all right? Wait a minute. Come on. Hit me! Just a minute, honey. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's hurting! We, we don't have a fucking game! Would you game. stop pushing me, okay? I'm, I'm why, thinking. It's two cards! I mean, why, did, why are you thinking, man? It's a quick game! <laughs> Analyze me. Hit me! Stop this, Chad, please. We're playing. Okay, okay. Hit me, hit me. Jesus. Hey, would you mind hitting me with the card facing this? Up! Right, you're a fucking queen! <laughs> there you are, you slug! First to go, uh, gentlemen. Well, you're so funny, don't you? Oh, yes, I am. Hey, Chip! What are you doing? Chip! Hey! Chip Brogdon! Come on, Chip! The card, Chip! Wanna play with us? Chip! Chip! Jesus Christ, wanna play with us? You can, you can hear you, because the deaf and dumb and Indian, remember? Yes, yes I know, he's deaf and dumb, but... He won't take an hour to reply. Yeah, he didn't take an hour. Okay, I'll just analyze. All right, all right. We're gonna continue with the game. All right, <laughs> Lancaster. <laughs> <clears throat> you want me to hit you or what? Hit me. Just with Jesus Christ, this is the real people. Can you see them? The real people. <laughs> it's not your turn. They go first. All right, just with. Just, come on, Lancaster. You have to do it. Hit me. All right. Oh, come on. What did you do? Wait. Another one. Yeah. You lost, Lancaster. Hit me. You've lost, man. For crazy, you lost. You hit don't me. hit. Jesus Christ, Jesus! We... This... You don't understand the fucking game or what? What's the problem? We're playing here. There are turns. It's not your turn. Understand? Understand, Cheswick? You don't understand, Jesus Christ. All right, all right. No more, Cheswick. All right, Billy Boy. Billy Boy. What about you? And, uh... Come on, Billy. Uh, uh, uh... I sit. You sit? I, I sit. Very good, very good. Just with shit. Just with Jesus Christ, you have to understand. I won't hit you, Jesus Christ. I mean, Granger, honey, you're smart, huh? <laughs> what about you? Wanna, wanna play with us? What's the point? I mean, the game was decided from the beginning. Billy has a 7% of winning, while Cheswick has an 8%. And you, Matt Murphy, are going to win with an 85% of winning, because you have an, a 9 and also an ace. That makes it very hard to beat. That's the point. All right, I don't understand. We're going to continue with this. All right. Hit I'm, You didn't even make a fucking bet, Cheswick. You, you, you didn't even say What's wrong with you? What's the problem with that music? I can't even hear myself thinking. Jesus Christ. All right, boys. Wanna play or wanna jerk off? Huh? Wanna play or wanna jerk again. Do it again. Right, let's do it again. Do it again. Jesus Christ. Come on. I the same thing every time with Chesley. I need you serious. Both guys, Jesus Christ, I can't believe it. Thank 
music, Jesus Christ, I can't even hear myself thinking. Sorry, come down. Yes, I just want to. Patients are not allowed in the nursing station. Yes, but I just want to. When you're outside, you will discuss whatever problem you have, okay? Patients are not allowed in the nursing station. Alright, alright, honey. Hey, hurry up! Just a minute, honey. Alright, um, nurse, uh, uh, Ratchet. Would you maybe uh, think about uh, turning the music down so maybe a couple of boys could talk? That music is for everyone, Mr. Magler. Yes, I know, that's right, but uh, we have to shout to understand each other. So, uh, would you please turn it a little but bit you down? What you don't realize, Mr. Magler, is that we have a lot of old men on this world who couldn't possibly hear the music if we turn it lower. That music is all they have, Mr. Magler. Right. Mr. Magler, yes? Your medication. Uh, what's the horse feel for, honey? It's just medicine. It's good for you. Uh, look, lady, I, I don't like the idea of swallowing something without knowing what it is. Don't get upset, Mr. McMurphy. I'm not upset. I'm just... Uh... That's all right, Mr. Wood. If Mr. McMurphy doesn't want to take his medication orally, I am sure we can arrange that he can have it some other way. Oh. Um, I don't think you would like that, Mr. McMurphy. You would love it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why right, give it to me? Good. Mmm. Nice. Very good, Mr. Mm. Thank you. Cassie, throw it to me. Come on. Throw it to me. I know you can do it. Come here, boy. What's that crap, then, Cassie? You must be kidding me. Where is the fucking candy? All right. All right, I cast it. Let's do it again. Okay? Take the candy and do it. I'm going to show you. Come on. You have to do it like this. Not like this. All right? Can you do it? Of course. Come on. Ready? Go. You suck! What happened? Jesus Christ, my fucking suck. Alright, uh, I don't want your fucking suck. Alright, uh, Cheswick, we were talking this morning. Here's my suck. I know you have it. Come on, Cheswick. What about you, Billy Boy? Where is my morning, sock? I, 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 do, I, do, I don't know. Are you ready for this therapy session? Yes, just a minute, Nurse Ratchet. I'm looking for my sock. Please sit down, everyone. I'm looking for my sock, just a minute. McMurphy, cut it off. It's right there, under Nurse Ratchet's chair. Oh, uh, Nurse Ratchet, um, I'm sorry, but I think my sock is... I'm sorry, Nurse Ratchet, I'm going to do something Sit a little bit down. strange. What so are you doing, Mr. McMurphy? Sit you down! You want Nurse Ratchet against my sock. Sit down, Mr. McMurphy. I'm going to take a chair. I'm ready, Nurse Ratchet. All right, gentlemen. In our previous meeting, we were discussing Mr. Harding's issues with his wife, and I think we were making a lot of progress. So, does anyone care to touch upon this further? Touch upon what, Nurse Ratchet? The subject, Mr. McMurphy. Oh, I thought you mean touching upon his wife, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you think you're so funny, don't you? <laughs> okay, Mr. McMurphy. Actually, I think we could move to a different patient today. <laughs> Mr. Lancaster, perhaps? All right, let me see. Mr. Lancaster, you requested admission here with the intention of writing a novel about a patient with a mental disorder. So it's been six years since you were admitted here. How is the writing process going? Very, very well, Miss Ratchet. I have a great idea for my book. It's about a scientist 
who's developing the cure for a terminal illness. But the pharmaceutical companies aren't very happy with him because their business will end. So they use all their economic and political power to set his lab on fire. <laughs> fire! Well, his little sister is inside. The scientist sees his sister while she's burning alive. And he goes off crazy enough to join an asylum. <laughs> that, that sounds interesting. Yeah, I do want to know what I wrote yesterday. I have here. Let me check. It's a very good idea indeed. Uh, but where is he? Oh, here is. Listen. It's been six hours since the fire, and I am at the cop station waiting for the cops to take my statement, surrounded by a bunch of blood suckers. Bobby, who can't understand the sentence without that ring. Howard, with his bloody peculiar words. Chandler, with his habit of eating paper. <laughs> and the fucking whore, Sergeant Rose, who produces us nightmares and insomnia. But at the end arrives McDonald, who gives us liberty. Sounds nice, huh? Yes, Mr. Chadwick. Uh, Miss Ratchet, Miss Ro Ra Rose, Miss Ratchet, <laughs> do you have free time at night? <laughs> <laughs> Silence, Mr. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of something. It just shows that you never know the psychopath can be sitting next to you. <laughs> Weird people are more common than we think. And this is the man with fairy. <laughs> you, you're not. Is the sound just like? Susan used to tell me. Susan, your wife, Mr. Lancaster? Her wife, her lovely smile, his beautiful eyes, and her big, big tits, huh? <laughs> Jesus. But, but she was terrified. She couldn't stand the sight of me. And my daughter, she couldn't stand me either. They would prefer to stay with Susan than with me. And why did they decide to stay away from me, Mr. Lancaster? They betrayed me. I was writing at home and they didn't support me. That, that's why I prefer to stay here, yeah. Uh, 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 Mr. Chester, yeah. He doesn't deal with outsiders very well. He has trust issues and it's more comfortable in here. Um, are you sure that it is your friend? <coughs> or perhaps it is actually you who is unable to face this situation? I mean, you have a lot of things in your plate right now. The rejection of your own family, your inability to provide to them financially, not to mention your <coughs> complete failure as a writer. That's a lot, don't you think, Mr. Lancaster? Mr. Lancaster. It's okay, Mr. Lancaster. All right. So, does anyone have a comment on this matter? Uh, anyone who would like to say? Yes, I have one. Our friendship. Go ahead, Mr. McMurphy. Well, the last time we were discussing about uh, getting things out of our <coughs> chest, and uh, well, there's a couple of things I'd like to get off my chest in our friendship. That is actually very good, Mr. Yeah. McMurphy. Go ahead. Well, um, <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> Today, as you may or may not know, doesn't matter, is the opening of the first semi-final of the Champions League. <laughs> now, what I'm proposing here is to change the work detail tonight so we can watch the ball game. What do you think? Well, what you're asking, Mr. McMurphy, is that we change a very carefully planned schedule. Yes, but it's a little change. Never hurts, no ratchet, never hurts. Well, that is not necessarily true, Mr. McMurphy. You see, we have a lot of men here who took a long, long time to get used to the schedule. 
If we change it now, they might find it very disturbing. Right. Fuck the schedule. I mean, they can't go back to the schedule after the Champions League. I'm talking about the Champions League, you know, Billy Boy Champions League. I mean, it's important event. Anyway, Mr. McMurphy, this is no way to proceed about this. This is a democratic community. So how would it be if we had a vote and let the majority rule? Right, let's vote on it. Great. Let's do it. All right, gentlemen. There is a vote before you. So all those in favor of changing the TV schedule, raise your hands. All right, boys. I want to see those hands up. Come on. Very good, Cheswick. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, the others, Billy Boy! Want to see the Champions League? Come on, football game! Come on, Jesus! Lancaster, Jesus Christ! What's wrong with you? Come on, guys! <coughs> what is this crap? I mean, I mean, I haven't missed the Champions League in years. What, what's wrong with you guys? Don't you want to see it? Come on, be good citizens! Well, Mr. McMurphy, I only count two votes, including you. And that is not enough to change our schedule. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. So, is there anybody else who would like to say something? Suggest something? <coughs> Ask something? Yes, really? Yeah, yeah I, I, I want to wanna know why the dorm is, is locked during the, 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 the weekends and, and the night. Well, Billy, you know that if we left the door open, you would just go back to bed right <coughs> after breakfast. Am I right? So, so, so what? <laughs> Remember, Billy, we have discussed this many times. The time we spend in the company of others is very therapeutic, but the time we spend brooding alone only increases the feeling of separation. You remember that, don't you, Billy? Do, do, do you mean to say it, it's sick to, to want to be alone the, the whole day? Billy, you seem to want to talk today. Why don't you tell us more about you? Perhaps you could tell us about an important person in your life? Maybe an important woman? Mm. No. No, 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 not, not today, Miss Ratchet. Are you sure, Billy? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 not today. All right, gentlemen, I suggest we close the meeting. Thank you all. Harden, tell me something. Is this a useful procedure for that group therapy? A bunch of chicken at a pecking party? Or oh, a pecking party? Is it as simple as that, Jesus? I mean, you've been on our work for, what, two weeks and have already simplified the work of Freud, Young, and Maxwell Jones into one big analogy. It's a pecking party. I'm not talking about Fred Jones. I'm talking about what I've seen today. You know what that nurse is doing to you. To Cheswick and to Lancaster. To Lancaster? Yes, and to you and Cheswick too, you know? Yeah, Randall, Randall. My dear Randall, I'm sincerely disappointed at you. Yes? I had judged you more intelligent, you know? Come. But clearly, I was sadly mistaken. I mean, you're completely disregarding the fact that everything that woman does, she's doing it for us, for her own benefit. Come on, you're telling me that nurse is doing you some kind of good? Why else would we subject ourselves to it? I mean, I know she can be a very strict woman sometimes, but she's not like a monster chicken that's pecking her eyes out. She's more, she's more like a mother, like a caring, tender mother. A mother? Tender mother crap. I'm gonna tell you something, Bernie. She's a ball cutter. I'm from way back, my man. Oh, so that's what this is about. <laughs> you think you're a better psychiatrist than she is? I mean, she has more than 20 years of experience. But no, ladies and gentlemen, Randall P. McMurphy, the psychiatrist, he can cure the entire world, vegetables included overnight, or your money back. All grow right, up, right, grow right, up, right. McMurphy. Wanna live in a life? All right, live in a life. I'm gonna rest. I'm sick of your moustache. <laughs> you know what? Maybe she does humiliate us sometimes, McMurphy. And maybe sometimes she makes us feel unwanted. She might even 
mistreat us from time to time and makes us feel as if we're a bunch of losers with nothing to give. But you know what? You know what, Matt Murphy? Chess, we come on. That's a pornographic magazine. You're disgusting. Come on, come on, Chess. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, okay. Delicious. Delicious. This, is, this is not the book. Is this yours, man? Oh, you found it, huh, Chess? We... Well, you know, it's, it's like my wife can say that. <laughs> you have a b b beautiful wife, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. You can have it for a few nights if you want, Billy. <laughs> Look at that gang of depraved loonies. Mm. All right, all right. Which one is gonna be for you, huh, Lancaster? You like that one, huh? No, no. That can be your, your... Come on. All right, gentlemen. As you all know, today we have arts and recreation time. So please organize the room because we're gonna do origami today. All right, go ahead. What is that, Mr. Cheswick? Nothing. Let me see. It's just a book. Let me see it. Who gave you this, Mr. Cheswick? Who gave you this? It's Max. Not Rachel, how are you? <laughs> I'm gonna keep this from now on, okay? Sure. I know my girls from memory. That is good, Mr. McMurphy, because that is all you're gonna have from now on. It's enough. Excellent, Miss Granger. 
Great job, Mr. Harding. It was hard, but I did it. <laughs> that is actually very good, Mr. Mayberg. Thank you, no question. <laughs> Billy, what are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my, my flower. <laughs> that is not a flower, Billy. You have done it the wrong way. But, but I, I, I followed you. No, Billy, you did it wrong. I'm gonna give you a new sheet of paper, but you have to do it right this time, okay? Follow my instructions carefully, all right? Do you like my flower? <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Miss Ratchet, I, I think I don't like flowers. They're full of feelings and carry instruments of rats and insects, and they are disguised. That is just an artificial flower, Mr. Lancaster. You don't have to worry about that, all right? Are you, are you sure? I am sure, Mr. Lancaster. I hope so. All right, gentlemen, keep working like this. I will be back in a moment. Chief, Jesus Christ, Chief, you did nothing. Mr. McMurphy, you remain seated. It's okay, North Table. <laughs> no, Chief. Don't like pinky flowers? Oh, well. Me neither. Mr. Chief Brown, I'm going to tell you something. We're going to do a play, right? A real play, play, and you're going to love it. Come here, come here, I'm going to show you. <laughs> so easy. So, well, not too easy. It's a wonderful thing to do. Look at this. You know, one of the best paper planes in the world. You know, I'm talking about, ah, you want to see it too, Alan Custer? All right. Oh, there it goes. Calm down, honey. I mean, it's a the wings, please. Look at this. It's a beautiful model. I mean, flying from you know the 20th century from here to there. <laughs> and here it is. Oh, look at this beauty. This smells nice. Just go like ahead, Mark Murphy. We want to see. Okay, it. Harding. All right. Are you ready for this? It's a wonderful plane. And it's gonna fly in the right way. Billy boy, stay back, please. Jesus Christ, you're gonna get hurt. All right, here we go. Chip, you're gonna love it. Look at this, Chip, a plane. You're gonna love it. All right, here we go. <laughs> you laugh at me, I'm gonna fuck you all right, but you can do it. Come on, show me. Come on, we need a plane. We need a plane. We need a plane. Chip, we, you, what is this? What is this, Chip? We, a flower? You must be fucking kidding me. We need a plane here. Jesus Christ. We need a plank here. What, what about you, Billy? Eh? We need a fucking plank. Come on, what you can do? You love too much, you know? Jesus <laughs> Christ, I can't believe it. <gasps> oh. Oh! Yo me 
you may have a goddamn circus. Everybody grab your chairs and it's sit down right now. Everybody grab your chairs right now. Miss Ratchet, can I have my plane back? Everybody grab your chairs and sit down right now. Miss Ratchet! Yes. I asked you a question. I heard your question, Mr. Cheswick, and I will answer your question as soon as you have calmed down, okay? Okay. Are you calm, Mr. Cheswick? I am calm. <laughs> Are you sure? I am calm. Sit down. It's okay. You want a plane from us? No, I don't want your plane! And I don't want your plane! And I don't want your plane! Or your plane! Or your plane! Sit I want my plane back! Cheswick, sit down. No, I won't sit back. I'm gonna tell you something right here, right now. We're not little kids. Sit what down, gives you the right down, to take away our plane? there should be a punishment for the unspeakable behavior that you showed yesterday. We have decided to take away some of your privileges, including your bathtub privilege, your canteen privilege, as well as the privilege of playing cards what? during the free time. It's ratchet. Mm. Is that clear to you all? Yes. Does anyone have a question, a comment on this matter? Okay, so who would like to start today? I, 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 I guess I could, I, I could, could talk. All right, then. go ahead. Well, the, the Billy, go ahead. The, Yeah. <laughs> Billy boy, how are you, slut? Nice, wonderful smile like custard. You know something? How I like your mustache, Harvey. How are you, Nerfretchen? I'm glad to be here. Sad? Can I sit down, Nerfretchen? We're glad to have you back. Thank you, Nerfretchen. I'm glad to be here. You can join us if you want. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> how's, it, how's it going, Mac? Very good, silly boy. I received so many words a day. Next woman that touches me will burn down. Yeah. <laughs> That's an amazing thought, Mr. McMurphy. But actually, when you came in, we were talking to Billy, and we would like to get back to that, okay? Great, let's do it. Go ahead, Billy. Well, yeah. The... The, 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 there was a girl, Anna, and uh, there was there was one one, one sun, Sunday afternoon after the church, and and, and I brought her I brought her some, some flowers, some some flowers, and uh, then and then I said and and then I said. Anna, will 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 you marry me? <laughs> Billy, why did you want to marry this woman? 
Well, yeah, I, I was, was, was in love with her. Yeah. Billy, your mother told me that you never told her about this woman. Why didn't you tell her about it? <laughs> Billy, wasn't this the first time that you tried to commit suicide? <laughs> Why don't you answer to me, Billy? You really should talk about this. Just try, Billy. Mm -hmm. Just try to talk about it. No, no. No, 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 no. Billy, please just try. Hmm? Yes, Mr. Chesley. If he doesn't want to talk, why do you push him so much? Why don't we move on to another business? Mr. Cheswick, the purpose of these meetings is group therapy. But last time you said that spending time in the company of others is therapeutic. And, and he mentioned that the champ Champions League? Champions the Champions League, League Champions. is on. Yes. Uh, I think we can still watch. Can we still watch it? In fact, yes, Chess. I mean, uh, today is the final, you know? So, uh, it would be a good option. Thinking about it, not to drag it, we would like a uh, reboot. Don't we, boys? Let's vote! Let's vote! Come on, Nars Ratchet, let's vote. Would one more vote be enough to satisfy you? Please, Nars Ratchet, satisfy me. You know that <laughs> we have more important things to discuss, Mr. McMurphy. Right, but, uh, you know... One vote. more vote, okay? Okay. Gentlemen, once again, there is a vote right. before you. All those in favor of changing the TV schedule, raise your hand. All right, I want to see those hands up. Come on, come on, Harding. Sure you want to see that too. Very good, Billy, that's what I'm talking about. Well, it looks nice to me. What's it? Harding, come on. What's it? Your, your power, man. Jeez. What's it? You have four votes. All right, we have, we have four votes. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> looks nice, eh, no, Roger? Like this hand up in the air. You Mr. McMurphy, I only count four votes. Four votes, funny woman, eh? Four, just four votes. <laughs> four votes. As you know very well, we have nine patients on this work. Come on, you tell me. You, you tell need me. majority to change the schedule, Mr. McMurphy. You, 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 you want this guy to vote? You're, t you're saying Those that? Jesus Christ, Greg and Chris. Work, just as you are. Jesus Christ. All right, uh, all I need is just one boat, right? That's indeed correct, Mr. McMahon. All right. Uh, Granger, come on, honey. Come here. Champions League. <laughs> yes, I know you love, you know, understanding the patterns on the game, all that thing. Come on, just raise your hand, come on. Come on, that's all we need from you today. Raise your hand. Come on, Granger. Come you on. You want me to vote? Yes, just Democracy a... doesn't work. Democracy oh, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't work. Come on. 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 Football is like a dancing with a ball. <laughs> yes, it is. And you know, you're a wonderful dancer. I'm sure you're gonna love it. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I know you wanna. Yes, you're Gentlemen, smiling. You wanna vote? Enough, yeah. Mr. McMurphy. No. The vote is closed, okay? <laughs> Like, for Christ's sake, any one of you fucking maniac lunatics want to vote on it, don't you understand? What are we talking? Just you gotta understand your vote and take it, man. But uh, we need another one, Jesus Christ! Oh, Raja, please. Alright, uh, just one more minute, okay? Just one more minute. I already told you. The meeting is adjourned, Mr. McMurray. Yes, just one more minute, and I'll show you there is one person here that. Uh... Alright, Chief. You're our last chance, alright? All we need from you today is to raise your hand. That's all we need from you today. Very simple, Chief. Come on. Just to raise your hand. Just to show her that you can do it. Just to show her that you can really do it, Chief. Come on. Raise your hand, Chief. Come on. It's so easy. You know, football, old Indian game. Come on, Chief. Come on. Raise your hand up. Come on. There's got to be a way to see the fucking match. 
Jesus Christ. Does any one of you want to see the fucking Champions League game? Jesus Christ, I can't believe it. Look, my chief! The chief voted! <laughs> Come on, my ratchet! Do the television set on the chief! The chief voted! So, uh, would you please, would you please, North Ratchet, and turn the television set on? Mr. McMurphy, as I told you before, the vote was closed. But uh, look, the chief voted! Look, look! There still is has... nothing we can do about that. The meeting was adjourned. Oh, come right? on, come on. You're, go you're not going to say that now. Don't you're not going to say that the now, Nurse Ratchet. The, I mean, the vote was closed. The vote was five to four, Nurse Ratchet. I want that television set on right now. Understand? I want that television set on right now. Murphy. Enough. final of the Champions League 2002. And there he is, Real Madrid and Bayern Leverkusen. Roberto Carlos is making time, and he looks at Zinedine Zidane, Guti. Oh, what a wonderful pass to Raul! He's in the middle of the penalty area, he's gonna make it! Jesus Christ, it's an upside, I can't believe it! Five more minutes, five more minutes, that's it, that's it, five more minutes, and there's a new player in the field, his name is Billy Bibbit. <laughs> and so, Billy, he receives the ball. He receives the ball. There he goes. Look at that wonderful touch. Beautiful. He passes it to Lancaster, who's running like a lunatic in the left side of the field. There he goes. And next season, Chance Week, what a dribble. Jesus Christ. Perfect pass. The chip drop. The chip drop. The looks at you. Oh, and he kicks. And he drops. Well, uh, I can take it no more, Chief. I can take it no more. I mean, this place is fucking shit. And that nurse, Jesus Christ, she ain't honest, Chief. She ain't honest. And these guys, they're not even committed by the law. They're here voluntarily. Can you believe that, Chief? One day they get in and then you don't know. Jesus Christ, I can't believe it. It's, it's awful, Chief. Um, that's why I'm going to escape tonight, Chief. You know? And you're coming with me. Yeah. Out. Out to escape, Chief. You're coming with me. Come on. Trident. <laughs> you slut, you son of a bitch! Can you hear me, Chief? Can you hear me? You bet it. Jesus Christ, Chief, you fool them, Chief, you fool them all! Jesus Christ, I come. I mean, uh, Chief, what are we doing, you know? Two same guys in here, huh? We have to escape, Chief, escape. Canada? Canada, Chief, sure. <laughs> We'll be there before those sons of a bitch realize it. Oh, Chief, I think they're here. 
Goat! This motherfucker! What the hell are you doing, McMorris? You should have to go back to your room. Do you sit? Come on. Corey, listen to me. Do you believe in miracles? Miracles? Yeah? Well, our prayers have been as we're worrying. Really? There's an angel of mercy standing out of there. Look at I that. An angel of mercy. <laughs> I believe you, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Warren. Now, uh, how do you think we can put them in here? Well, in here. In here. Well, I, I don't know, McMurphy. I, I may get in trouble. I don't want to. Just a couple of hours, man. I mean, would you pray for a... Uh, 20 bucks, a bottle of booze, and one of the girls taking care of you tonight? Me? Yeah. Oh, well, brother, I'm on my knees. Go ahead. Or you are. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Hello. <coughs> I'm crossing Jesus Hi. Christ, but you gave me that. It was for everything. I love you, man. <laughs> Hardy, come here. Uh, I don't know. Come on. Don't, know. Wanna, don't, don't you want to taste this wonderful scotch? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Just a little bit. Yeah. Granger? Hey. My water taste oh. is funny. Yeah, it's because it's full of pulpit, you know? What? <laughs> well, you should have a little bit more. Is that poison? Yes, we all gotta die! Alright! Let's play some music here! Oh yeah, yeah! Alright, let's do it! companies are is very happy with him. <laughs> so they sit his lap. A fire! Yeah, fire! Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> and at the end he committed an abotomy! <laughs> alright, alright, now let's hear about a nurse, you know. What does a nurse say when she finds a rectal thermometer in her pocket? Huh? <laughs> Some asshole has my pen. <laughs> Very good, eh? I know, I know, I know, I know the joke. A different joke, it's better. All right, you should have a different joke. Joke yeah. time, joking time. Come on. It's about a scientist. But another scientist who's developing another tube for another feminine audience at the pharmaceutical companies. Fire! Fire! <laughs> <laughs> and at the end, he committed to time. <laughs> I'm gonna play some music. Oh, that cool? That cool? I have it, yeah. Wait, I just didn't have it. Bye! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, Harry. Come on! I cannot leave now. 
I cannot leave now. What about you, Hardy? I'm not ready, man. You're not ready? You must be kidding me. It's so easy. I'm gonna go away sometime, but when I'm ready and I wanna go through that door, do it the right way, and I want my wife to come and pick me up and let her know that I was able to do it. But not yet. I can't believe it, guys. I mean, stranger, aren't you coming with us? Come on, Come you on. wanted to be free. Come you on. wanted to it's, be free. It's better to restrict our freedom here than there outside, living under the illusion that we're free when we're under control. Come on, just stay. It's the same. Oh, it's not the same. We don't belong outside, Mac. You don't belong. That's not true. Of course you belong outside. You think you're crazy? Well, you're not. You're not crazy, boy. I mean, you're perfectly sane, and I'm not kidding this time. You're perfectly sane, Jesus Christ. I'm telling you the truth. Billy, for Christ's sake, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? Come on, Billy. I'm, 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 I'm gonna miss you very much, Mark. Oh, come with us then. Come on. Did you, did you think I don't want to? Oh, well, let's go. Well, it's, it's not that easy. Why not? It's so fucking easy. All right, all right. I'm going to tell you something. We'll arrive to Canada, and I'm going to send you a postcard with my address. All right, Billy? You can look for us when you get out. It's... it's is, is she going with you? But the candy? <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, we're everybody going. But... <laughs> Why? And I, I, are you going to, 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 to marry her? Uh, I think I'm not uh, going to do that. But we're just good friends, Bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> yes, uh, but uh, why are you telling me all this stuff, huh? No, no. Want a day with her, huh? No. Want a day with her, is that? Nothing. You won't think. Don't nothing me. You want to take it. All right. You'll have to be a fast date, okay? Are you ready for this? It's, it's, it's have to be a fast date, Bill. It's, 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 it's too late. Too late? late. What are yeah. you telling me? It's the, right, it's the perfect moment, Billy. Come on. No, right, no, no, no. When, when, I, when, when I have a free weekend. Free weekend? Are you busy right now? <laughs> this is a it's no, gonna no. have to, Billy. Candy, come here. <laughs> no, no. Candy, come here. But candy. Right, candy, uh, go for that slot. <laughs> I want you to, you know, not treat the yeah. right way, Billy. Show him why love is so wonderful and not all that stuff. Uh, so, come on, very good. Uh, you know, go on. Have fun. Yeah. How it hurt. But, but she's like a tender mother. Go there. Go there. Go there. This is quite much as hiding. You doing this? Jesus Christ. I'm telling you. Privacy. Privacy. I'm going to show you something interesting. Tiger. I'm going to introduce you with an old friend of mine, Black Jack. You know him, Bernie. Yeah. Again, okay. but this time with a little bit of uh, fun, but no. I call that fun alcohol. Let's Rose. go Canada. Rose, just 20 minutes, you know, Billy is busy right now, you know. <laughs> Would you please sit down with us and, you know, you know pass the bottle, come on, pass the bottle. All right, you know the rules. One facing up, one facing down. Eh? <laughs> What is going on here? My dear Lord. Just what, what is going on here? Have they done? Else? Yes? <gasps> Who's that? Okay. McMurphy. Nah. Mac okay. Five minutes. <laughs> Mr. Washington, <laughs> show that woman the way out of the hospital. That woman. Right. Ma'am, <laughs> um, please, I need you to go. Please, we need to go. You need to leave. Oh, 
maybe you need to go, Alice, let her go. No, <laughs> what, who are you, what are you doing? Uh, let it go. Don't touch me, all right? I, I won't touch you, I won't touch you, but I didn't need you to go, please, come on. But Mark, oh. Mark is Mark. asleep, yeah. Mark! <laughs> Mr. Warren, make sure that no one is missing. Right away. Come on. Everybody up, come on! <laughs> Ellis, up! You, online, come on. Who's missing? Leave it. Matter of fact, check. Um, Billy, Billy, Billy is missing. Billy? Yeah. Billy. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Mr. McMurphy. Uh, yes, ma'am. Do you know where Billy is? Uh, I don't know, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hart, have you seen Billy? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cheswick. <laughs> Can you tell me where Billy is? <laughs> Gentlemen, did Billy Bieber leave the grounds of the hospital? <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> no. I want an answer to my question. Did he leave the grounds of the hospital? Miss <laughs> Flynn, Miss Bilbo, check all the rooms. Mr. Warren, Mr. Washington, we will start with the top room. Right now. Mr. Cheswick, may I have my cat, please? <laughs> what the fuck? Roger, we found him. Call it the act. It's okay. Man, it's enough! Online! Ratchet, can you explain everything? Please do, Billy. Explain everything. <laughs> everything? <laughs> Aren't you ashamed, Billy? No. No, I'm not. For the first time, Ms. Ratchet, I'm not. <laughs> Ms. Ratchet, I just discovered a new whole side of myself. I discover passion and love. Ooh, love. And, and now I know that I can be truly, truly free again. Yeah! Nice. You know, Billy, <laughs> what worries me is how your mother is going to take this. Miss Bibbett has always been so proud of your discretion. I know she has. And this is going to disturb her terribly. And you know, Billy, how she gets when she gets disturbed. You know how ill the poor woman can become. She has always spoke so proudly of you, Billy. <laughs> well, you, 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 you don't have to, to, to tell her, Miss, Miss Ratch. I don't have to tell her. Your mother and I are old friends. You know that, Billy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please, Miss Ratch. Don't you think you should have thought about that before you took that woman in that room? You don't have to. You, 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 you have to tell her, Miss Ratchet. Billy, I have to tell. I don't want your mother to believe something like this. I myself find it hard to believe that you would behave like this. But Billy, what am I to think, Billy? I found you alone, on a mattress, with that sort of woman. No, but she... she did. Everybody did. Everybody? Yeah. Who did, Billy? <laughs> you tell me who did right now. Who forced you, Billy? The, 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 
my, 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 my Murphy and and Harding and everybody. See, it's not ratchet. escaped last night. Who told you that? Jerry Granger? Oh, come on. No, Jerry, Jerry Granger's full of shit. He's not. He's, come on. He is. He's, he's not. He's, he's, he's not. not. He's always he's telling not. lies at us. He's, he's not. He's not upstairs. He's not upstairs. He's upstairs. He knocked down two can't. attendants and tr flew through a window last night. He's upstairs, believe me. He's not. You can't believe everything that... Jerry think it is true. God, it's gonna be like a shit. shit. Can you see it? Hit me. How come you believe anything that I tell to you? <laughs> Look, I'm gonna ask Ms. Ratchet. Excuse me, Ms. Ratchet. Yes, Mr. Ratchet. I mean to, to bother you. Yes. Uh, is it true what, what the guys are saying about Mac? That he, <coughs> that he escaped last night? No, Mr. McMurphy, that is not true. Are you quite positive about it? Of course I am, Mr. Hardy. In fact, Mr. McMurphy is coming back today. Okay, thank you. Right. See what the lady just said? Uh, that's He's good. coming with us. That's okay, good. if you want to stay, stay. I'm going to call you for today. Uh, see you in the morning. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Chronicles! Chronicles! Come, come here! Chief! We need to talk about McMurphy. I see him there dancing. I know he's there. No. No. He was abducted and he's been brainwashed. And now we're next. We're the next one.
go, gentlemen. Quite right, ma'am. All right, thank you very much. Right, sure. They say you escaped, Mac. I knew you wouldn't live without me, Mac. I was waiting for you. Now we can make it. Get up. I feel big as a damn mountain. And you're bigger and tougher than me. So get up, Mac. Let's go. Mac, let's go. Mac. 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 Let's go. Mark. I'm not going without you, Mark. I can't leave you here this way. Let's go. A right to be heard. No sense of my word. A voice that is true. Not a momentary view. A word that is said. It remains in our heads. Of value that's true. In both me and you. It signals the start. From the deep in our hearts. A sentence recalls. From the big to the small. It flows like a stream. I have a dream. Papa.
for coming today. It's amazing to perform to so many people at the same time. Nos encanta tener el auditorio lleno. No se imaginan la energía que nos transmiten. Todo el semestre trabajando para esta obra, para que ustedes la disfrutaran y nos encanta tenerlos acá. Muchísimas gracias. Voy a presentarles al casting, al talentoso casting que tuvimos el día de hoy, brevemente. Entonces, Rafael Carmona, estudiante de piano. de Psicología. Alejandra Gómez, abogada egresada de la universidad. Daniel Céspedes, estudiante de décimo grado del Colegio de la Presentación. David Vargas, estudiante de Psicología. González, egresada de la maestría en Geología de la Universidad. Y también diseñadora del vestuario, diseñadora del espacio. Santiago Serrano, estudiante de Física de la Universidad. Rojas, estudiante de psicología. Nicolás Hernández, estudiante de ingeniería. No terminé de decirlo. Luis Eduardo Vaquero, profesor de inglés, egresado de la Universidad Distrital. Perón, egresada de Psicología. Miguel Zavala, estudiante de Filología Inglesa. Sergio Torres, estudiante de Trabajo Social. Luis Cortés, estudiante de Psicología. Nina Palomino y su bello hijo, ella es estudiante de psicología, Juan Felipe. Y nuestra directora, Juana Charri. Ah, y mi nombre es Edna Castillo, soy egresada de... ¿Verdad? Alias Candy. Egresada de Filología Inglesa y Francesa de la Universidad y coordinadora de este grupo hace años. Y chicos, yo les quería hacer un reconocimiento. Esto es como un grado. Ah. <risa> un grado, de verdad. Eh, pues siempre hemos estado eh, pensando en que esto podría llegar a ser una lectiva. Pues es, es su nota, es su nota final.
Luis Cortés, Sexiest Female Award. <laughs> Still has a child inside award. Oh. Best dancer boy award. <laughs> Mission impossible. <laughs> Not losing your award. <laughs> the most hated bitch. <laughs> to work. Uh, <laughs> best person who swears the most. <laughs> best show off award. <laughs> Juanita Charri, the most serious face. <laughs> Where one more thing award. Let me finish the award. Wait a second. Can we take a picture with you before you leave? Can we take a picture? Sit down, guys. So, uh, no, the dream. As you mentioned before, this group has been in the university for nueve años. <laughs> Si les gustó el trabajo y les interesa que el grupo siga existiendo, la idea es que más gente esté interesada en mantener el grupo vivo. Entonces, a la salida, antes de la portería, tenemos nuestro póster y está el correo del grupo, nos pueden buscar en Facebook, en Twitter. Nos encantaría tenerlos ahí para informarles de las nuevas convocatorias a casting, para que, para que estén acá el próximo semestre, de los nuevos eventos. Y... Próximamente una convocatoria de gente que está interesada en liderar el grupo. Les agradecemos nuevamente. Muchísimas gracias por estar acá y gran sonrisa. Bueno, gran no. sonrisa en la foto. Y, everyone, y, y, another one, another one. I need more. I need more. I need more.
Súper. Un poquito nerviosa, pero yo siempre pongo nerviosa. Es tu naturaleza. Sí. Nerviosa. Muy nerviosa. Eh, y ya que dijeron que hay harta gente, pues peor. Este auditorio, yo, por lo menos desde acá, se ve uno más cerca del otro, más cerca de él. Nina ya sabe que ella es la que te da la entrada a ti cuando... Cuando se acerca el micrófono. Listo. Listo. Perfecto. Listo, perfecto. Gracias. Eh, entonces, sí, uno mira, por ejemplo, ese tipo de cosas. Como que, para comunicar más fácil. Me gritan y escucho. Sí, sí no, yo estoy allá, al otro lado estoy totalmente. Perdida. Me habla mi, mi idea. Entonces, acá, digamos, la cercanía. Allá, obviamente, es mucho mejor, digamos, la parte de atrás, obviamente. Para ellos es mucho más cómodo. Se ve más desordenado porque están más desorganizados, obviamente acá porque está en un lugar más chiquito eh, pero yo creo que esto pues, ya hoy va a ser mejor porque ya, sea, ya saben el espacio como se puede bien está muy bien. 